There we go. Okay, this is old camp. And it's not a spring day today. As you can see, we're out at the beach here in, well, I would say sunny Southern California. But Except you can see no numbers. I see recording and no numbers. There's see? numbers right there. Okay, now I did. See? Okay, go away to them. Actually, go right here. Okay, this is old camp. And this is not a spring day. budgets and you can't afford anything, you bring the lifeguards out when the beaches have got people on them, not when there's nobody on the beaches, because that means, that means what happens is, as it gets later in the season, when people, when it really will start lining up, they're going to be tight on funds. See, part of it is, when August comes, it's actually our best Sunday. But there is no need for uh, every other station open today with no one at the beach. If the sun comes out in three or four hours, which it does, then you bring the guards out. But they yeah. But don't you think that they're on an eight-hour day anyway? Then hire. They're all, they're all part-time workers, as far as I know. They want to, oh. you know, they they're part-time. They don't work a full schedule, so they can, you know. But uh, but you bring the guards out. You simply. Tell the workers that they're not going to be needed until after like 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. These stations have been manned for two hours and there's been no one. We're talking, the as far as I can see, down the beach, every other station is manned, which is good if there's people on the beach. Well, we've also started seeing them manning the beaches as early as 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, with no, I mean, okay, generally the beach we go to, there is no one at that beach on a, on a very active day. You know, you can't find parking because there no one will Part pay. Of it is there's not that much parking anyway. And no one will pay to go park in their parking lot zones because, I mean, was it twelve dollars to go park for today? They won't do it. So. Or as, as the day goes on later, there's no parking available other than paying like twenty-five dollars. Yeah, but you still never see the parking lots loaded. Mm -hmm. But there's never the beach. This is this is like a normal day, a normal warm day at the beach is where we where we tend to go. And because nobody goes to those beaches anymore. And I heard the other day that somebody sent a thing in, you know, where, uh, it was on, uh, actually the 4th of July, they said, where are the people on the beach? Mm -hmm. Because they don't come out to the beaches anymore because it's too expensive. I know, and people probably think that we're really crazy. So we are inviting people to come out to the beach. <laughs> Oh, it, okay. Because you've been out of Venice, you've been out in Santa Monica, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to show you. See this area, all of this area here in Santa Monica. When I was young, you'd have seen from the beach to at least that pole right there, totally filled full of people. Totally filled full of people. That would have been on a bad day. On a good day, you're looking at. This pole. Anybody remember watching Baywatch? Those were just not specially shot shots. They just took a camera and pointed oh, really? it on any given day, and the beaches were filled full of people. But not anymore because it um, we can run you was it seven to thirty dollars to park your car today? Mm -hmm. Unless you're lucky enough to find meter parking. Yeah, then you're cheaper. But uh, the the weather is more or less crappy on the beaches in Southern California until afternoon anymore. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, but and still, you on a on a really nice day, we have had no problem finding places near the water on any of these beaches out here. 
you can go towards Malibu and there's nobody on the beaches over yeah. at Malibu. So, I guess the only exception is to be like, if you're on the 4th of July at Venice, if you don't get out there before 1 o'clock. You don't get cheap parking. But if you're willing to walk, you can find parking. That's the whole trick. But um, there's just, the beaches are empty. Totally and absolutely empty. I mean, there used to be surfers everywhere. You don't see them anymore. We have, a, we have two getting ready to come by, and they're going to surf the area where the tower is. <laughs> but, I mean, we've got cabanas set up that nobody's using. We have, um, you name it. It's just, like I said, this is an era where they don't have the money to pay for things. In an era where you don't have the money to pay for things, you simply should, uh, you should simply figure that if the sun is not going to come out until later in the afternoon, you only need the, you know, uh, you know, you, you go two towers empty, two towers empty, two towers empty, and they cover the distance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things, if you notice, they're covering with um, with vehicles now. So, uh, but, I'm, uh, but but as far as you can see out here, they have uh, the beaches are, um, you know, you have every other tower open. And there's nobody on the beaches. It's just, um, but you know, you can. It, it, it's just a foolish waste of money. They say, well, it's not foolish if somebody needs help. Well, okay, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference whether that tower behind me is open and the next tower is closed, and the next tower is closed because you still see down. Okay, okay. this is the type in bad off season. This is a normal off season day. Normal off-season day. Yeah, but it's the middle of summer. I know, but a normal off-season day, uh, two-thirds. I mean, like it's one tower open, three towers closed. Mm -hmm. And since they're servicing people on those days with that t personnel, then why are they spending all the money when they have the same size? Well, maybe they have a bigger budget during the summer. Yeah, they have a bigger budget during the summer until they run out of it. Oh, which means like during August, the end of August. They start September, because they they've it. missed, they've misused. Okay, what happens is they'll get hit where they need all the towers open. And they can't operate all the towers because they don't have the budget anymore. So what? what? Sometimes they just think that, well, by that time they've gone through the funding and people say, That oh people gosh, will give us more funding. Yeah. That's how the governments operate. These, you don't, they don't get more funding. It is simply, um, the, there'll be a time when there'll be no towers open on the beaches because they don't have the funding for it, and just the emergency vehicles. What you'll have is, um, you'll have the main stations are open on the beach. That's because they're manned, in, and I guess in this area, their lifeguards are, are uh, firemen. Mm. So they'll, um, and police officers, but they'll be manned in those main stations with, with vehicles. They'll be there by your car. Uh, almost as fast as the lifeguard can get from a station two stations away. So that's how that works. But you know, we just start grump about wasting of money. I mean, when you see there's no one at the beach and they're spending this much money, when they could have just simply, you know, been better scheduling. You know what the weather's going to be. It's been this way for well, the last couple of years. They figure out the scheduling what a week or two weeks in advance. That, they just tell people you're hired for the summer and this is your tower, I think. Ah. Uh. And then they come out and they this report to the tower. I mean, uh, even as far back as, um, as, uh, as far back as, um, you know, the series with Hasselhoff, Baywatch, they were basically having budget problems and cutting back. Mm -hmm. This is, so they cut back every other tower. They, this used to be a time, like I said, when I was young, all of these towers were full, every single tower. But there's nobody at the beach anymore. You don't do this when you have no money. So this, this my, my rant and rave about the wasting of taxpayers' money today.